welcome to Trivia Night, my way of testing society's refuse to make sure only the worthy survive. But it's also just stupid fun. You'll love it or my name isn't- whoops! <laughs> Almost broke the first rule of nameless serial killers there. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. But enough of all that, let's play. Okay now, first question. Since I'm a sociopath, I have to ask you a question about classical composers. It's kind of my duty. Which of the following composers was not part of the Baroque period? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, come with me. Welcome to the killing floor. Let's play the finger cutting game. It's all pretty much there in the title, honestly. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. It's the opposite of difficult. Ready, get, slice. Good news, one less nail to cut. It's early, but here are your scores. But don't get too high or too low, because you're all doomed, remember? Here's another one. It was revealed in Season 6 of Parks and Recreation that Jerry Gergich's real name is what? And the correct answer is... This one. The rest of you, let's go someplace fun. Hello, guten tag. Welcome back to the killing floor. Let me ask you a question. Your life depends on how you answer. What's the best dessert? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you kind of angry. The votes are in. Oh, you wrote this hot garbage. There's no hard way to say it. I killed you and now you're a ghost. But keep playing and I promise you can still win. Never underestimate a ghost, son. Here's how all the scores are looking. I've got more questions for you. Which Eddie Murphy movie has a 0% rating on Rotten Tomatoes? Picked this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Let's test your memory. Memorize the pattern. <laughs> All right, let's put these away. I hope your memory's better than mine. All day I've been trying to remember the name of the guy from that HBO show. Man, who is that? I think his first name starts with a C. 
Word L? Ugh, it's driving me bananas. You know what? Forget it. Let's just get back to the cards. Brian Ben Ben. That's it. Okay. Good. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. this? How close did you get? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. <laughs> Alright, next question. So, I got to walk the red carpet recently. No, not the Oscars, just a carpet I haven't cleaned in a long time. But tell me, what brand of shoes are known for their fabulous red soles? <laughs> Who said this one? The rest of you who are still alive, let's play a game. Okay, okay, fine. We'll do some math. Now get off my back. Yeesh. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. Whoever does the worst dies. Let's go. Math, 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 math. While you guys are doing math, I've been learning how to fold origami. Today is all about improving ourselves. Math time is almost up. Ah! A tie is bad for everyone involved. Ah! You failed the math, so now you're subtracted. Let's try another one. In what city would I find Piccadilly Circus? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This. I want to show you something. I want to see you spell. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I knew these magazine clippings would come in handy eventually. Oh, and all these other players get to play along too. And if any of them spell a longer word than you, you will be punished. Start poking those letters with your fingers. By the way, the letters don't have to be touchy. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. you came up with. Bad spelling is unacceptable. Let's see if anyone beat you. Hey, the good news is, this won't hurt for long. They ganged up and killed you. You probably thought they liked you, but then they straight up killed you. That's gotta mess with your mind. Let's try this again. How many waterfalls make up Niagara Falls? Ah! Ah! Yeah. 
Who picked this? Prepare for your punishment. I want to play a dice game. I'll go first. Six. Now I need a little help from a safe player. You'll do. In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? The choice... What a nice gesture. Roll higher than me or you die. Ooh, you nailed it. Don't forget gambling is wrong though. Next question. I scoff every time I hear somebody order a large drink at Starbucks. I mean, are they not cultured? What do you call the 8 fluid ounce cup size that's just below a tall at Starbucks? Who said this one? I have a surprise for you! We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to poison. And it's your turn now. Pick a chalice to drink from. My chalices are dishwasher safe, so please do a load if you're still alive at the end. Good stuff. Now let's see what everyone drank. Aww, no one drank any poison. Well, don't I have egg on my face? I feel like a grade A goofball. How about this? Dumb question, I know, but... What's an octopus? And the correct answer is... This one. Let's play a game. I think it's time for some senseless violence. You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I will still punish someone. Now go say hello to some people with your fists. We all knew it would come to this. Swing and a miss. You took your shot and you lost. You must be punished. You can see the full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website. I could, um, really use the traffic. I should utilize social media better, but I, I can't. I don't know how. Twitter, my Twitter account has like eight followers. Half of them have eggs as avatars. Social media is top. How do people do it? I've tried Hootsuite. You guys use Hootsuite? Yeah, that doesn't work. Anyway, check out my website. That would be great. Let's try another one. Okay, I am really tired of shaving my cats. So tell me, which cat breed is hairless? <laughs> Who picked this? You're in for a treat. Uh-oh, this is a mess. This piece of art has blood all over it. I have to remember to wash this in cold water. Memorize the pattern of blood.
Okay, you've had long enough. Oh man, I am parched. I'm really bad at remembering to stay hydrated. Just a second while I have a little water. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Anyway, reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. The person who is furthest from the pattern will die. Here's that arc again. Let's see if you messed it up. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Hostess snack cake products. Tap on each and let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. Can ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you? A bunch of smart people, huh? American Idol winners.
Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in.